This is where I'm just scraping off the grass that was built up on there. As I showed you guys in yesterday's video, one of the handles broke off of the screen for the little knobs that hold it so to take the screen in and out. But I came up with a better solution. I looked up the knobs online and I found them there like eight or nine dollars a piece for those little knobs. That thing right there um, through Walker and it has a little screw that holds it in. Now I've talked to a few people and they said that they their walkers for years they've never had a problem with those falling off. So I don't know why the one fell off on mine. Um, I just bought this screen last year. I bought them both last year actually. Two brand new screens, a small hole one and this large hole. Um, so anyway, I went to Value this morning and I got these two different knobs with quarter inch bolts and one three eighths bolts and the bigger one that's sitting there. Um, but I thought these would be much better, much stronger. They will definitely hold up. All I had to do was drill the hole slightly bigger to a quarter inch hole. And my idea is to run these in with um, Loctite on the threads. The, um, there's, there's multiple different types of Loctite and the uh, kind I'm using is red, which is known as the permanent Loctite. You'll see it here in a minute, but that's all I did is I drilled the hole a little bigger to quarter inch thick, or to quarter inch holes, and I ran the bolts in there. Um, you'll see in a minute I, sh I showed that I put them in both sides to make sure I had the holes correct, and then I actually ran one of them down with a ratchet to tighten it down just to make sure it was gonna tighten perfectly as much as I wanted it to. And then I take it back out, add the Loctite, and put it back in. But uh, what it come out to is each one of these uh, little black tabs were $1.80 a piece, and the bolts were $0.13 cents a piece, which I already had uh, I already had cases or packages of these bolts at home, but I forgot that I had had them, so I bought them while I was at value. No big deal. Either way, I'm like 5 bucks into replacing both sides, and these are a lot more heavy duty than what comes on them and they will definitely last a lot longer i should never have a problem with these again but i bought the larger ones and these smaller ones that i'm putting on there because i wasn't sure which way i was going to go either way they are definitely holding up um or they are definitely going to hold up on there and do what i want them to do and i should never have a problem with them falling off again but it's just another one of those quick fixes where you got to kind of think outside the box um, or you can go right to the website and spend a ton of money to buy the same ones that were already on there and held on with a couple screws uh, that, that may be sufficient as I said the people I've talked to they they said they've never had these come off and I've talked to a couple guys that said oh yeah yeah those things fall off all the time so this is the first time it's ever happened to me and I hope it's the last time but either way I, I'm pretty confident that the way that I'm doing these here, I'm not going to have an issue with them again. Check that fluid in those gearboxes. Very important. My recommendation, once a week. Um, it's been about two weeks. I just haven't had a chance, but it's a good way to find out if you have leaks and avoid burning up those very expensive gearboxes. Not something you want to be replacing, especially regularly. Um, I also use my hopper for hauling chicken feed to get it from the front to out back to the chicken coop and where I store my food, my chicken food. And uh, it's the easiest way to get it back there. I had to take the mower back there anyway, so uh, let's just take it out of the car and throw it in the uh, back of the hopper and run it back, put it in the bins. Makes it a lot easier than carrying two 50 pound bags slung over your shoulder. I didn't get the new blades on for the Great Dane yet. Those are in the, in the garage. There's the hopper bins for the walker. I still haven't sold them. I put 250 firm. I paid 175 a piece plus tax for them. I put 250 firm on uh, Craigslist. One guy contacted me and said, "What what do you got to get for them?" 
Well, first off, I don't got to get anything. This is the price I want for them. And it says firm. And he never answered me. But anyway, so I don't care. I'll keep them. Um, my spiker spreader. Some people ask me about this. Look at this spiker. Lawn Care Life, Jason Creel. That's who recommended that. Um, accelerator works awesome. This thing is in trouble. <laughs> Two weeks ago, I hit a small piece of culvert sticking up that I didn't see, and the blades were tinging once in a while, so I ground the ends of the blades off and put them back on, and I got it to stop. Well, I bought those new Gator mulching blades for it, and I went to put these on yesterday or the day before and saw that the center blade was sitting at an angle like that. I bent that whole spindle. So I got to replace that center spindle, and that won't be here till this coming week. And it is a low-profile ferrous spindle, so of course it's not cheap. But anyway, I think the food for the chickens, nope, oh, they got plenty of scratch corn. I should not be able to pick that up. So that's their regular feed, and that's about empty, which is why... I have two more bags. Um, I used to buy them from Tractor Supply, and 40-pound bags were like $19 for a 40-pound bag. Between 19 to 23 depending on what feed you get. And then I found a mill that's like 20 minutes from my house. And while well, I knew they were there, I just didn't know they sold this. They sell 50-pound bags of the same exact stuff for 8 bucks a bag. Golden. And then this, this, this scratch corn, corn feed. They sell 50 pound bags of this for $7 a bag. I mix the two together and that's what I feed them. They packed my GoPro. The bastards. That's all right. Aren't they awesome? I love them damn chickens. I don't know why. They're crazy. They're insanely stupid. But I love them. They're a lot of fun.